Well, I think one of the wonderful things about this selection of poems by Ted Hughes is um, the fact that each of them is is so interesting in its own right. And I suppose that every time I come to to record these little talks, I think, wow, I think this poem is is really, you know, a favourite. It's something really special about this particular poem. So, what do I think is special about uh, this one? Well, I suppose it's it's because the poem I, I think adds up to being a very affectionate, interesting, involving picture of somebody um, whom Ted Hughes is celebrating and remembering. This is a memory poem. It's a a, a memorial poem, as if you like, as well, because it is writing about somebody who's passed on, who's now no longer with the poet. Um, so the man in question, as you can see from the notes, um, is Ted Hughes's father-in-law, a man who was uh, father of his second wife. Uh, it's called Jack. He's a farmer, Devonshire farmer in England. And this is a lovely, lovely poem, really celebrating, you know, Jack doing what he did uh, as a farmer, uh, a really sort of almost a timeless activity of, of cutting the wool from the sheep. Now, I don't know how much you know about farming in England, but there are thousands of sheep in England, and there have been for hundreds of years people in England farming sheep, so growing sheep for their wool and cutting the wool from the sheep uh, at certain times in the year so they can make cloth. Um, so it's been going a long, a long time, and traditionally it's done by hand, um, using uh, like scissors uh, to cut the wool from the, the body of the sheep. And if you haven't clicked on this already, please look in the notes, uh, because I've got a link to a fantastic film um, posted on YouTube by a Welsh farmer who does the sheep shearing. So what is described in this uh, poem, you can see this uh, man do. Interestingly enough, by the way, he's so good at handling his sheep, he actually makes it look pretty easy. And I think there's a contrast between that movie and what you read about in this film. For Jack Orchard has got a sheep which has got to be sort of subdued, kept under control while he cuts the wool. And so therefore, um, I think a key to this poem really is the idea that it's sort of a tussle or a struggle between the man and the sheep. Uh, so that he can cut uh, the wool from it. So, uh, Jack the farmer, uh, Ted Hughes's father-in-law, uh, is a strong man. Uh, he's able to, to get the sheep under control, and whilst he's got the sheep under control, keeping that sheep in a holding pattern, he's got to do the cutting, which is actually really a tough uh, activity, requiring tremendous strength in your hands. So I just want you to, I'm sure you can pick up from the poem, the way that Hughes is, is remembering Jack and his strength. This man is a strong man doing a really traditional uh, activity that was reserved historically for the men to do if they were farmers. Um, so that's what he's showing us. And I think as so often in uh, Ted Hughes's poetry, I mean, we might have to watch a YouTube video to really understand what sheep shearing is about. But I think Ted Hughes is adding something to, to that um, you know, information that we could get from watching somebody cut the wool from a, a sheep. I think he's giving a sense of a kind of um, really physical um, process that, that, that's going on. Um, which is very much underlining the man as, you know, a, a body. He, he's somebody using his body in a very strong and powerful way. Yeah, so that's really important. Well, what we must, of course, remember, this is you know, the, the, the title, as, as so often in Ted Hughes, is, is all important because it's actually a really big contrast, I think, to the, you know, what we see in the poem as we read it. The title says a memory and that's the really poignant thing i think about this poem that you know we've got this tremendous um, picture with all its kind of sound effects and its sense of muscle grind and you know strain and push and shove and sweating and noises and and the sheep struggling around you know as, as it's been cut you've got all of that but actually 
it's a memory because Jack Orchard has passed on. He's, he's died. He's not there anymore. So I think that's rather sweet, actually, that, that you know, the way that, that Ted Hughes can, if you like, you know, with his, uh, with his pen, he can uh, sort of wave, you know, use the pen like a magic wand, really, to bring this man alive in front of us when, sadly, he's dead. So I think that, that's, that's a lovely feature of the poem. I think um, also we've got a sense that although this is about Jack, we don't really learn about Jack's personality. Was he a nice guy? You know, was he gentle when he was at home? You know, how was, how's he, was re he remembered as a dad to Carol, who was Ted Hughes' wife? We don't learn anything about that at all. Um, and it, because I think interestingly, the way that Ted Hughes presents this memory, whilst it's very touching, it's also kind of a timeless action. Because, you know, men have been cutting the wool from sheep for thousands of years, uh, right across the world in different ways, different techniques. But, but you know, this is a timeless action. We, he could be writing about a farmer, you know, in Wales in, in you know, 1650. Uh, he's not. He's writing about Jack Orchard. But, you know, what actually happens when the man and the sheep get into that sort of situation for the wool to be taken off is, is pretty timeless. So I think that's a clever thing about this poem as well. You know, it's, it's, it's a beautiful picture of um, sheep shearing. It, it's almost like you know, the little YouTube video in the sense of giving us you know, an example of this ancient uh, activity from the countryside. So those are my thoughts really on this poem. I mean, I think you can really enjoy the way it works. Um, with it. Ted Hughes is, is always, you know, stretching language. He's pushing language to try to do new things with it. Um, he's almost, as it were, struggling with the language to kind of push it into, into showing us at a very, very high level of intensity uh, what this, this man is, is up to. Um, but um, interestingly, you know, there's that sense of connection, isn't there, between the, the speaker uh, and the person doing the action, the, the, the man, Jack Orchard, uh, cutting the wool. Um, and, and how's that connection made? With, with, because Jack is addressed in the poem, the poet, poet is talking, he's talking about Jack, but in a sense he's also talking to Jack, isn't he? He's saying, your bony white back, um, bowed over an upturned sheep. Um, so just in, try to enjoy the, the way in which Ted Hughes is, as always, is, is trying to do clever things with the English language, and I would argue succeeding uh, with that, and creating this sense of the physical, things that happen with the body. I mean, it's the sheep's got a body, but I think particularly the focus is on Jack's body. Um, the bony white bowed back at the start there. Um, and then, uh, you know, the sounds of what's going on inside this barn. So it's cold, but he's sweating. So it's a, it's a really chilly barn somewhere in Devon. But, but Jack himself is, is sweating over this really hard physical effort to keep the sheep down and to do that cutting. Um, so that's very powerfully invoked. Um, and then this may puzzle and perplex you slightly because smoking has rightly become so unfashionable um, now cigarette smoking we all know how bad it is for you but you know jack orchard's generation um the man dying in the 1970s you know people knew much less about cigarette smoking then this was just part of what his everyday life uh, thousands of people in, in in england at that time men doing physical labor did it with a cigarette in their mouth okay um, so that's the, that was just normal, uh, a sign of a working man. But but he's he's got one in his mouth, as mentioned in the second section here. The attached cigarette bent at its glow, preserving the, its pride of ash. So somehow the cigarette, you know, is being smoked while this guy's getting into the business, this incredibly physical business of uh, shearing the sheep, and and Hughes is sort of impressed with that. Um, that, that, that sort of the way that he's able to, to keep the cigarette on the go and do the, the cutting. And we move then on to, really interestingly, this man is a farmer, um, but Hughes expresses his admiration, his memory of this man as a strong farmer by comparing him to a miner, somebody going underground to cut the coal or something else of the, you know, from, from underground. Again, a very traditional um, activity 
in, in, in the British Isles, associated particularly you know, with, with men who went to do that job. Um, Hughes says to Jack about Jack, you were like a collier, a face worker in a dark hole of obstacle, heedless of your own surfaces, inching by main strength into the solid hour. Quite difficult, that bit. Do think about how Ted Hughes is, is celebrating this man's work as a farmer, a sheep shearer, but in terms of him, you know, comparing that to, to the, the work of a miner, somebody cutting into the, the rock to get the, the coal out of, of it. I think that that's really interesting. And you might also like to trace all the description of Jack's body, you know, the different postures that this man is in as he's doing his work. It's really interesting. Um, and yeah, the cigarette comes up uh, towards the end and it, 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 the poem finishes. <laughs> I think this is really lovely, um, even though we don't, you know, we all know how bad smoking is, but I think the image that, that, that Hughes um, conjures up with his, his magical pen, you know, uh, he, he conjures this up this image of the, the, the shearing being over, the sheep um, leaps free. He's the peeled sheep, you know, the sheep's sort of bald, you know, his, his hair cut off, it's, it's wool cut off and it runs off. Um, but Jack, the farmer, then nipped the bud of stub from your lips and with a glove huge, grease glistening carefulness, lit another at it. So he manages, as soon as the sheep is free, to get the, to, to light one cigarette from the end of a, another one. It's what used to be called chain smoking. You know, you literally, one, one cigarette leads to the next. So he, he lights that cigarette. So again, forget about the, for a moment, just forget about the, the, um, you know, the, the, the health hazards of the cigarette. Just think about it as an image for a minute. It's really interesting, that one, because Hughes is, 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 is suggesting that, you know, this cycle goes on um, through the image of the cigarette being lit. You know, the, the, there'll be another sheep and another sheep for Jack to come and, and cut. Uh, the, the wool from, to be called that, shearing, as you, as you know. Uh, so shearing the sheep is, is, is a sort of an action that keeps playing out. It's a bit like a process. And as we know from our study of the other poems, you know, process is very important in Ted Hughes's understanding of the way the world works. Um, and there'll be many other sheep that will go through this process and many other shearers. So Jack is a, you know, he's a typical example of this, that while he has sadly died, and I think you know, Ted Hughes was very fond of, of Jack Orchard, and I think you can tell from this poem that that was the case. Nevertheless, there will be other guys like Jack Orchard doing this job, um, you know, for as long as there are sheep and, and, and human beings, even though obviously normally in modern farming an electric cutter is used uh, to do the shearing because it makes things easier and much quicker. So have a look on YouTube, by the way, I've not posted these. You can have a look at modern shearing. But this is not about modern shearing. This is the old fashioned way where you get the sheep into a position and then go cutting. OK, so do have a look at the video um, and then go back to the poem and just ask yourself, OK, I've seen the film. It's a very calm sheep, by the way, in the film. So what is special about how Ted Hughes is presenting this sheep shearing? You know, this is not a YouTube video. This is a poem. And I think that's that's really you know, um, what makes Ted Hughes such a, an extraordinary phenomenon as we read his poetry is just how unusually he presents something. He shows us a very iconic, you know, action, something almost timeless action. And yet he somehow manages to, to show us the sheep shearing through his eyes. Yeah. Uh, and I think that's, that's a very special quality um, that might help you to write a really good essay, by the way, on this poem in the exam. Um, so I hope that's helpful. And please do look at the notes, look at the questions. And, uh, you know, if, if you have it in you, uh, if you're inspired by this to write about, you know, a poem about somebody doing their job, particularly if it's a physical job, but it doesn't have to be. You know, just think about what you might write, how you might show your vision of somebody um, doing, you know, what, what, what their activity, their livelihood, carrying out their, their, their job. 
could be a really interesting exercise uh, to do. So, a memory by Tetuse.